Hey everyone, Cody here, and you're watching Owen Outdoors. Okay, so we're back up at my house. Two weeks ago, I did a video where I showed off some crazy damage happening to my place. It was like a disaster scene, all right? There was a water leak, and then it led to mold, and it led to rot. Oh my gosh. Dan the Builder, though, he has saved the day, all right? Two weeks of work is a huge jump from where we were. I'm so excited to show you guys the progress. It's getting there. We're waiting on some supplies. He's still working on some other things as well, but it's going to be a huge improvement. Now, it's the end of the day. I just got finished working, and we got amazing sunsets. You can't really see me, but yes, that is blinding every day in the summer. It's so beautiful up here, and that deck that Dan is fixing, Oh my gosh, the views from there are perfect. So let's go take a look at what he's been working on. Also look at that brush cut grass. Uh, don't look back there, okay? I still have the field to cut, but over there, I worked on it last week. I did a pretty good job. Uh, I have somebody that comes and does like two acres around the house. I would mow around the house myself, but I got a full-time job. I'm running my business. There's a ton of things going on in my life. But when I retire, oh my gosh, yes, I'm gonna love cutting this. I don't know if I'll be up here my entire life, but uh, you know what, we'll see what happens. I know, retiring, oh my gosh, I'm only 25. <laughs> but I, I just love lawn work, and if I didn't have to work, I mean, that's what I would be doing right now. Here we go, the big reveal! Look at that, it is looking so much better. Dan, you are awesome, man. Huge shout out to him. Now, look at that, there was actually three frames and uh, windows right there, but they were tiny windows. I'm actually kind of liking the big open space plus it helps with that sunset and all that light going into the master bedroom which is back there the sun's already going down so i gotta show you guys quick yesterday we had some crazy winds it's starting to whip up again the trees are going nuts um but yes the trim work the siding it's all been put on he's doing such a good job i'm gonna go upstairs and show you guys the deck and what it looks like he put a new um rubber roof down it's a huge improvement. He's been working absolutely crazy. I mean, seriously, rain or shine, I mean, the hot summer sun, he's just out here and he does a fantastic job. So he put down a new siding, that still has to be painted, but right here, the trim boards, they're all composite, no more finger jointed stuff that was rotten out. Nope, this is the good stuff and it will last literally forever. And he has a drip cap down here, so this baseboard, or this trim board, will not get rotted. These are not throughout the house. We gotta get those. It's basically just this metal piece that when the rain's coming down, it'll stop and not get inside the seams. Okay, so let's go outside to the three season porch. It's a much different scene up here, right? I mean, currently we have no windows put in place and there's supposed to be some framing and the windows are supposed to be smaller. But I mean, seriously, during the day, I mean, I know the sun's gone down already, but this is so bright and it never was before. And, and, and I think I should probably get some giant windows. Giant windows right in there. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think. Maybe windows that we can pop out. They might be expensive though, I don't wanna go nuts. This is such a huge transformation from what it was before. I am so happy. I was getting discouraged, you know, he kept saying, Cody, I had to pull this board back. I mean, it's more rot, and I'm like, okay, go for it, man. And then he's like, I'm sorry to keep coming back and giving you the bad news. But here we are, here we are. We are almost at the stage where this thing is totally finished. I don't want to mess up any work he's been doing, but see this, this gray part? This is the rubber roof that he put down, and he had to do it through the entire deck. We didn't think we'd have to replace the three season porch uh, rubber roof, but it seems like it's the whole thing. He's done some more framing. He's tried to save as much of the original structure as he can. Over here, it was totally rotted out down below, so that plywood was ripped up and it was, it was really unsafe. But now we can walk over here, as long as we don't move these boards and any, anything that he's been working on. Before, the rubber roof didn't even go close to over here. I think it like ended at this point, and then some water was seeping in through the doorway and going in the cracks and then making its way back there. Nope, not anymore. Everything is totally sealed up here. Basically, water is not gonna get into this house anymore. Well, at least where Dan built. There was a couple other builders that worked on this place that I didn't hire. They were by the previous owners, so I don't know how good of a job they did, but hopefully <laughs> we don't run into such a bad issue. Now, when the builder was pulling back some siding, he was a little worried because the entire house, the parts where he like ripped up, didn't have this. It's like a plastic wrap. It goes around houses, keeps it a little bug-proof, and if water gets behind it, it's good, okay? So, the good thing. 
So we started pulling back some rotted trim boards here and well, we have that material, <laughs> that wrap around the house, thankfully. Thankfully, it's like a bit of weatherproofing. It also helps with the leaks, protects it from rot and also bugs. You know, rot, rot, rot. You got, I mean, rot in a house and water, it's just a bad combination. Also, I think we got some views up here still. There's daylight. I was taking forever making this video, but we still have daylight to show you these mountains. My zoom isn't good enough, but trust me, there's a mountain right there. Also, that is a Winnie. That's not a captain. That's captain's daughter. And I still have to cut those trees. Not, not cut them down, but like, you know, shave them. You know, just do a little like that. Cut a few branches, same over there. This one is a bit of a mess. <laughs> There's a lot of branches going everywhere. And if I cut this big one right there, it may fall onto the fence down below. This is looking so good. I'm really happy with it. We're still waiting on the decking material. It could take like a month. And also the railing material. That's gonna be like a plastic as well. So, you know, that won't rot. The railing before it was rotted. Rot, 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 man. That's like, that's what owning a house, man. There's so many things that can go wrong, but I love it. I mean, taking care of it, it's fun. Just finding rot isn't okay. I mean, if, if I can't fix it, then I don't like the issue. <laughs> but like landscaping around, you know, it's little jobs. I can do that. <laughs> Just when big stuff fails, I can't I can't be the one to do it. Okay, so here is the tree with the branches blocking the view over on the deck. I'm thinking, you know, if I have the tractor bucket underneath this to kind of catch it, it may protect the fence. I don't want to break the fence. I mean, I could probably fix the fence if it does break, but we're going to avoid that at all costs. I did cut this one myself. It was a pretty big branch, probably the same width as that one but it was going this way and it had nothing to fall on, AKA the fence. Let's not break the fence. Like I was saying yesterday, we had some crazy winds. I don't know how fast, but my dad's house has no power right now. I guess there's like four telephone poles that fell down, but I took down the basketball hoop and while I was doing it, I was like, yeah, I can, I can just dunk and then pull it down. Well, I, it crashed on top of me and yeah, it was a whole mess. I cut my hand, I'm good though. <laughs> My shoulder hurts. Oh god. No. Uh, yeah, so I actually left that up a few times last year and the hoop kind of like bent in So it's a little harder to make a shot and that's my little brother Chase's basketball hoop My parents new place doesn't really have room for it So I gotta fix Chase's basketball hoop or I gotta get him a new one <laughs> Yeah, it's really bad. I can still play and the ball still goes through so maybe I'll just get really good If I make it difficult for myself to make it, I don't is that how that works? Okay, so we're at the front of the house and I wanted to show you guys Kelly's garden. Um, Kelly, are these tomatoes? Beef steak tomatoes. Beef steak tomatoes. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> look at these suckers. They're big ones. Uh, I, actually, they kind of look rotten. Don't touch them. Uh, I poked it. Don't, t don't poke it. She's been like guarding all year, uh, her first time. Uh, what are these? They, they, do we eat this? Um, that's a zucchini. It's not looking very zucchini-like. There was a windstorm. Oh, is that why he looks all messed up? Yeah, he got uprooted out of his ground. Yeah, the basketball hoop didn't fall though because we took, I dunked it down. It fell on me. I mean, you gotta fix that somehow. On her tomato plants, it was this crazy caterpillar. It was probably like that big and it had like weird white spikes coming out of it. Okay, wait, look. Wait, is there another one? No. That's t a tomato that's gonna be eaten soon. He, it looks rotten. No, it's turning. It's turning red. <laughs> it's happy. So, tomatoes, tomatoes, zucchinis, little tomatoes, and then this is cucumber. Look, look, wait. Let's not. Let's... Through the cucumber patch, you will find a cucumber. That's a big cucumber. Captain, no eating cucumbers. No cucumbers for you. Hey. He, he's really. He likes the veggies. Um, and this was a summer squash that I planted a little late, so he's just a little guy. Kelly, that, that thing's not doing well. You're, half your crops are gonna fall I apart. I know. Oh, zucchini. Oh, another zucchini popping out. The zucchinis, the cucumbers look pretty good. The tomatoes, I think you gotta work on them. Maybe take it down. What? Yeah, just up, uproot them, you know. Put some watermelon there. I like watermelon. Okay, we should get some fruit. Banana tree, no, that, that wouldn't work, right? Yeah, Apple tree. These are my plum. Shoot, my Roma tomatoes. Look at. You really like tomatoes. Um, my family likes tomatoes. Bye, Kelly. Bye. She's gonna make dinner. You're making me a hot dog, right? I thought you said you didn't want one. No, I want a hot dog. No, do you want leftovers? Maybe. 
Well, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm running out of sunlight very, very quickly. Please hit that like button and subscribe with notifications on. It's a huge help. And if you have any video ideas, let me know. I mean, just going around the house, showing you some stuff, I think that's pretty cool. And the big update with the house. It's not falling apart. It's gonna be built better than before. Captain's looking at his pride land. Everything the light touches is yours. I'm just watching for any squirrels out there. Watching, waiting.